In this video, I'm taking famous logos and making them insanely realistic. Will they be good? Will they be terrible? Can fish get seasick? I have absolutely no idea, but we're about to find out. So first up, we have the Dodge logo. Let's start with the pen tool and draw a shield-like shape. There we go, that's a, that's a good start. Draw the top, then copy it and smush them together. And round off this top part by dragging it down, down, down. Wait, come back. Thicken up the border and make the border white and then copy the shape. Right, now let's switch over to Photoshop. And first things first, let's paste in the shield and scale it down. And then grab a ram's head, goat's head, I don't know, I'm not fussy. I mean, they're basically the same animal. <laughs> Mask everything out, a bit of shrinky dinky, and then warp those horns in on both sides. And then add some fire. And this will sit on top of his head. And let's just do a quick blend for now. Add a bit of mouth fire, and then add some glowing red eyes just to make everything look extra sinister. Copy this one over, black up the background, darken the exposure. Uh, not gonna lie, this is really fucking creepy. Now let's add some highlights. Ah, uh, brushy 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 brush. Let's put some up here and down here on both horns and around the forehead as well. And if we make Monsieur Goat even darker, that lighting will be super dramatic. Now let's add some subtle highlights around the edges. A few here and here and some teeny weeny highlights here as well. And pro tip, don't rush this bit because it will end up looking rubbish. Just trust me. More highlights here, a bit of brushy glowiness there. Glow, more glow, and pick a more yellowy color. Then change the blending mode for a more realistic fire. Oh, that is way better. Now let's create our own fire with some sexy flame brushes. So let's start with this one and let's click a couple times and then do the same on the right and use this brush to make the eyes look a bit more smoky. Again, let's try some different colors. Oh yes, there we go. Again, let's make Monsieur Goat a bit darker and let's replace that mouth fire with our own. So using a brush, let's stamp in a flame and like before, let's make it realistic. Nice. Now let's make the eyes glow. We should also liquefy the fire so it matches the contours of the horns. Now let's grab another tasty brush and scatter some cinders everywhere. I got a bit carried away there. Let's dial those cinders back a bit. Now it's time for molten lava. Let's clip said lava to the shield and then chip away at this molten border with a brush. And I'm gonna keep the rocky metal bits all jaggedy and the lava nice and gooey. And just for fun, let's add a few sporadic flames as well. And we definitely need a nice epic glow in the middle. Now let's add the secret sauce, the camera raw filter and crank up that texture and clarity. Three, two, one. That is terrifying, but kind of cool. Okay, next up we have Ferrari. Right, let's start with a big circle. Duplicate it here and again down here. Make it bigger, move it down. And that bit in the middle is where the shield's gonna go. And let's offset this by a few pixels and then shape builder tool the shit out of everything. And let's add a few colors that arguably look awful. Ugh. Now let's copy everything and hop into Photoshop. And of course, we're gonna start by pasting everything in, shrink it down, add in a horse, and let's make this fella smaller and rotate him sideways. And let's drop in a lovely landscape. Move it this way a bit. Oh no, please don't be sh <laughs> Now let's make a selection of this leg. Very good. And then chop it off. Now let's paste it back in and do the same again with the front left. Oh. <laughs> Oops, let's fix that quickly. Oh no, I removed his mouth. Uh, don't worry, horse. There we go. Good as new. And let's move the other leg over. Wait. Oh no. What is that? <laughs> well, Daniel, I believe that looks like a cock. Okay, next, let's duplicate this big chunk of leg. Rotate it round. Let's move this one out the way and move this leg behind the body. In fact, let's just duplicate this leg and puppet walk this so it connects to the body and then flatten this hoof to the ground. And I think we should do something similar for this one too. And just fiddle with this leg a bit more. Leg fiddling complete, let's move it behind. Now select and chop off the tail. Sorry, I got a bit excited there. Now let's fix some of these crooked edges and smooth them out. And we definitely need to remove this square piece of leg. Jeez, look at those leg muscles. Now let's add some leg shadows and then slightly reposition that booty. And now we can rotate, wait, hey! Come on, Tan, behave yourself. Right, let's calmly adjust the face. Steady, steady. And we could stretch this side. Whoa, where are you off to, son? Right, back to that tail. Let's reshape it a wee bit. Now a nifty trick, the smudge tool. And we can smudge away those hard edges. A bit more smudginess here. And we can use this technique to redraw hair. Let's add some more here. A few more hairs here. And let's use a different color for the other hairs because texture. That is fabulous. And because of that sunset, we'll need to darken this fella down a bit. And then brush 
in some shadows in the foreground. Now it's time for some highlights. Check color eyes. Whoa! And we're just going to lightly brush these in around the edges. Let's add some to the mane, around the ear, the inside of the legs and the hooves. Hooves! Fun fact, that's the name of our hoover. Hoove. Hoove the hoover. And lastly, let's add some to the tail and the other legs. And let's do it again up here with a softer brush. And let's add some more glow to the sun just to make it more dramatic. I need more drama. And now I'm going to attempt to brush in a shadow being cast by this leg. Uh, it, it might end up a bit wonky. And should the other leg have a shadow? Um, I don't know, but let's add one anyway. And make the background darker too. And quickly create a shiny gold gradient. And let's give this a name and save it so I never have to do that again. And then play around with the thickness. Now the gold's looking good, let's add it to all three shapes and align the border to the inside. I'm also going to add gradients to the red and green for more realism. And let's add a glow that extends outside the shield. Now let's blur the background a bit and then add a gradient to spice up that plain background. Copy and paste everything as a single layer. And then let's add a camera raw filter and adjust the texture and clarity to make those details really pop. And lastly, add a pinch of grain. Three, two, one. And honestly, that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Now, this next one actually combines two logos, Mercedes and the tech brand Razer. Let's start with the ellipse tool and then add a circle and another circle, draw a line up and taper this off so one end is thick and one end is thin. Now let's separate this into two halves. Well, that's just great. Now make one side darker, duplicate twice at 120 degrees and let's combine these together and trim off those ends. Make the right side lighter, make the bottom side darker, and make the inner circle lighter as well. And just check they separate into multiple pieces. And we're done. Right, stop clowning around, Ginger, this is serious. <laughs> now let's copy everything and switch over to Photoshop. As you might imagine, first of all, we're going to paste everything in and I'll name and organize my layers like a good boy. Now let's add a snake, so a snake a lot, and lazily make a quick selection. And just like that, our snake is cut out. Now a spot of tongue removal surgery. Tongueless, is that even a word? Surely you could apply that to anything. I wonder if cheeseless is a word. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> cheeseless, without cheese. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Right, let's duplicate the snake into me, apparently, and position our new friend over part of the logo. We are not friends, you stupid ginger. <laughs> Why is everything French? Now it's time for some puppet warp magic. Dot, 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 dot. Da, 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 da. And let's just, whoa, 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 hey. All right, Dan, calm down. Right, bendy wendy. And then let's mask it. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> nope, the other way around. There we go. And now let's intertwine Seth Snake a lot with the logo. Right, a bit more here. And let's remove that tail. Oh, there we go. One snake done, two to go. So let's duplicate our snake. And again, rotate by 120 degrees. Duplicate again and rotate this by 240. Wait, no, 180? Or is it minus 120? Yes, there we go, perfect. And just like before, let's add a tasty gradient for the background and create a shiny chrome style gradient. There we go, give it a name and save. And that looks pretty good. Actually, let's try pasting it to everything. Oh, wow, that's not good. Ugh, okay, let's remove all these swatches and create a simpler gradient. Oh my God, will these windows get out of the way? Now let's apply this to some of the other shapes and let's darken those inside areas a bit. Now let's use a soft brush to add some shadows. <laughs> no, not like that. Let's bring this down. Okay, let's try that again. Yes, there we go, much better. Let's add one here, here, fix this bit here. Add some shadows down the left, along the bottom, some in the middle, and some around those inside edges. Oh, a few more here, here, here. And now let's do this all over again, but this time on the snake. Shadows, more shadowy shadows, a shadowy foreshadowing of even more shadows, and lastly, some f***ing shadows. Well, that was fun and my soul is now destroyed, but yeah, as you can see, it definitely makes a difference. Now let's grab a metal texture, drop this in and clip it to the logo and we can blend the texture directly onto the shapes. Now let's increase the contrast to make everything look a bit more shiny and brushy brushy masky, but brushy brush, <laughs> what am I even saying? Now let's change the blending mode and drag this over here. That is looking pretty damn fine. Now let's give Sir Snake a lot some color, perhaps a bit more green like the actual Razor logo, maybe slightly less punchy. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, a few more shadows. Now let's convert everything to a smart object and use this secret weapon once more. And of course, bump up the texture and clarity. Ta-da! Now click OK, and that's this one pretty much done. Three, two, one. Also, yes, fish can apparently get seasick. 